Here at the HKS, we pride ourselves on giving the fans a chance to see Hong Kong films on the big screen, as well as being able to meet some of their heroes. In October 1999, the Max Centre in Birmingham played host to the personal appearance of one of the industry's most prolific actors, none other than Anthony Wong. Please put your hands together, give the guy a warm welcome, he's come a long, long way. The one and only, Anthony Wong! when I was 21 and in that time I was poor and got nothing to do just like t um, the teenagers you know walking around doing nothing sleeping chasing girls and suddenly one day a friend of mine call, called me up and uh, he just graduated from the, from the high school and he got nothing to do to ATV uh, they need um, they need um, to, to, to find some 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 trainer for acting, and I said maybe you can, maybe you should you should try. And he said uh, he's afraid, is um, scared. And I said, well, don't be afraid, don't be afraid, I'm scared. I go with you. And uh, he failed. I get in, and I start my. I got totally no idea about what acting is in that time. And I joined the, the, the training course for one year, and after that, I, I start my career. After ATV, I went to. Uh, uh, performing art school uh, to to um, to study acting, and after three years, I went to um, um, TVB for another three years. And after that, I come out for 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 movie. <laughs> For the movie that you're probably best known for, even though it was done years ago, is uh, Bomberman. Bomberman. Ten years ago? Yeah. Very that, long. Not that long. <laughs> but six years, maybe. Yeah, six long time. years, seven years ago. <laughs> <laughs> But the first time you get a script, I, I, I read this, of course, and I think it's a, it's a really stupid story. And, uh, but, but I signed a contract, I have to do it. So when I go to the set, I talk to the director, because the director is my best friend, uh, Herman, Herman Yao, and we talk about it, and I, I just talk, think to myself, okay, uh, wow, well, let's, let's, let's do it, just like a Halloween movie. Gum 王生,我走了。走到。It's not all the time for an actor who can who can who can catch the the character at, at the first time, the first day, in the first day. But I I got that luck. In, the, in that movie, well, they, they call me to the costume fitting, then I put on the glasses, then I 
the image suddenly pop in my mind, then I get the character very easily. Uh, did your friends and family treat you any differently after your role in Untold Story? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> well, because he's such a psycho in that film, if I may say, you know, he's so bold. So, I mean, well, did, did, did your, did your uh, friends and family sort of stay away from the kitchen for a while? <laughs> <laughs> like meat cleaver lying around or something? Did they treat you any differently? You know me very well. You know, this is me. So, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> We can talk about something about the ending. It's really, really, really hard to to make it because we have to shoot in six or seven nights, and it's really hard fighting. It's really, it was really hard, and um, I think I the 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 the. the, the um, why I can make it because I talk steroid. <laughs> I talk steroid to cure my eyes, not for the for the character. So it's really I was really energetic in that time. What was it like working with the rest of the rest of the cast and everyone? With Michael and Well they're nice. They're nice. Did you get on with I with practice Michael? English with Michael? Just like that, eh? Just like that. And what about Sam? What about Sam? Was he was he a nice guy there? Oh <laughs> funny guy. Funny guy. The stone. The stones all the time. <laughs> Tell us about the story when you won the best actual award for these spots. Just very, very quickly. The, the, about the, the number. number. The number. Yeah, yeah, the number thing. That night they gave me the seat at what? What's the number? Um, fourteenth. Fourteen numbers. Fourteen on the seat. Fourteen means uh, die hard in Cantonese. And now Cheng Wan sit beside me, which is thirteenth. Thirteenth means is a lucky number for Chinese. So there's a lot of. And he sits beside me. Jackie Chan sit over there, and he want us to move over there. I tell Lao Ching Wan don't move because it's, it's, a, it's a lucky number. And I think, oh, I got the bad, bad number. Oh, I can't get the award tonight. Then I, I think, if I move over there, what number will I get? Oh, I got the 18th. And that was the 18th times award. Then I know, oh, it's, a, it's my night. So I know I will get it. Forcing me to tell this story again. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think that do you, <laughs> do you think it was the number eighteen that won you, or maybe the acting might have had something to do with it? Well, I think it's, it's about the number. <laughs> this year, what's this your best year. movie? What's your worst movie? The best movie is um, *Ordinary Hero*. I play as an Italian priest. But I don't have to speak any Italian. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the worst one? The worst one, they're a lot. <laughs> <laughs> We're saying it's very hard sometimes to get into your characters because films are shot so quickly. And do you have that sort of, do you have that problem a lot when you're doing movies? Do you have, find it hard to get into character? Well, sometimes it's really hard to get into character with a crap. Oh, screw it. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to he tells it how it is. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> Anthony, uh, as you know, has won a couple of awards this year for um, various things. Best actor being the number one. But we couldn't let him come all this way without giving him an hour of an award. Which I'm sure you agree with. He deserves it, right? So, I have it down here, I'm just going to get it. He had no idea of Alice at all, did he? He was about to skip some kind of <laughs> And it is with this that I would like to make Anthony Wong the first ever honorary member of the Hong Kong Superstar. Oh! <laughs>
And now for you hardcore Bun Man fans, here's a candid look at Anthony when he invited us back to his Hong Kong apartment. Boyfriend, don't hesitate to call me. <laughs> <laughs> 